Let's get started. Okay, so this is the post show where we're going to be asking Murray questions. Murray, we've already got a question in the chat here. Does it work with 220 volts? Uh, well, there's two components here. One takes the AC 110 or 220 down to 48 volts to power the, the actual Ethernet cable. So the, the power brick operates universally from 100, 100 volts to 240. 50, 60 hertz. Great. Um, looks like we have a couple other questions. Uh, looks like someone was here watching you at um, Infocom, and they said that you were using the PoE to power lights. We have a new product uh, that we were showing at Infocom, which is uh, powering LED lighting over uh, Cat5 cable. Uh, we're going to have that product at Cedia in uh, next month. And um, we don't have that in production today. That was an early, just sort of just sampling the, the market and getting some feedback. It looks very, very interesting uh, to power um, really LED lighting um, over, over a Cat5 cable and another low voltage. Um, and we'll have more about that um, at Cedia. Cool. Well, that sounds awesome. Um, we're going to get into more questions. The, the live stream has about, a, looks like about a minute and a half of, of latency. So everybody else is pretty much uh, waiting um, to actually to get to where we are. They're about a, a minute and a half behind us. But um, there was that one question about the 220 volts, the lights. Uh, what are the main questions that you usually get, Murray, when people are thinking about doing PoE. Is this because people don't want to hire electricians or is this just for ease of use? I think the biggest question that we have is uh, people look at a camera like a Swan or a Hikvision camera and on the back of the camera it says 12 volt comma PoE. So the most common question is, so where do I get a 12 volt PoE? Mm -hmm. And uh, the manufacturers have done a really poor job of explaining what that means. 12 volt comma PoE and we get this question every day, you know, a dozen times. 12 volt comma PoE means that it's 12 volts when powered with a local wall ward. So you have like a transformer plugged into the wall. Um, and then it'll be 12 volts. But when you power that 12 volt comma PoE camera over the ethernet cable, it's actually 48 volts on the ethernet cable. The camera then internally steps the 48 volts down to the power it needs internally. Why is it 48 and not 12? Uh, it has to do with the physics of the copper in the Cat5 cable. Um, the loss in cable is a square of the current. So if we increase the voltage from 12 volts to 48 volts, we're cutting the current by a factor of four, which reduces the loss by a factor of 16. So only by going up to that 48 volts can we project, um, uh, let's say, 20 watts or, or even 10 watts uh, at 328 feet to power the device. So uh, a 12 foot, um, I'm sorry, 12 volt uh, injector would be limited with most cameras to around 75 feet. And that's why this isn't done. The 12 volt spec you see in the back of these cameras means this is with a wall work. And if it says PoE in the spec, then that means it's 48 volts and it'll go up to 328 feet without problem. Gotcha. All right. Well, the last thing I want to ask you is tell us about the future. Um, do you think that you know, everything's going to be powered over PoE in the future? Uh, how far are we going to take this technology? Um, really, I mean, we're looking at other new products that we can power. As I mentioned, you know, LED lighting is kind of a, a really exciting one coming up. Um, essentially, um, we've designed new, we industry design products that require less power. And we're still running, you know, 12 gauge Romex everywhere in a building or in a house. Uh, that 12 gauge Romex can provide 2,000 watts of power, which is clearly not needed. So if we can then simply power things over um, over Cat5 or low voltage wiring, then we bypass the requirement for um, licensed electricians. Uh, we can do everything with low voltage wiring, which means it's a much broader base of people that can install. Uh, so the next step really is um, to get away from running 12 gauge uh, Romex to a, for example, a lighting fixture in your ceiling that has a six watt LED in it. 
what's what's the point of having all that copper? So um, we're going to see a lot of this uh, move over to low voltage wiring um, as uh, as reaction just to the the labor costs of putting in labor and, and copper costs of putting in unnecessary 2,000 watt capacity. I think you just don't need it. Wow, that's incredible. Have you? I'm guessing you haven't done this, but I mean, it, it, I would love to see like a house that was just fully you know, PoE, but I guess, you know, there's some things that just aren't going to be powered over PoE. But thank you so much, Murray, for, for, for coming here and talking to us. It was really insightful. Hey, it's been great. All right. Well, take care. Thanks so much, everyone. Go to wifi-texas.com if you are looking for PoE adapters for our cameras. Uh, the mid-spans uh, are used for, you know, injecting PoE over the network. So you could just buy like an eight-port mid-span and power eight cameras, right, Murray? Exactly. And uh, so either the, uh, the existing products that require the 12 volt splitters we have in stock um, and then uh, your future products that have built in PoE, it'll all be powered then by our, um, our products natively. Great. Thanks so much, Murray. Have a nice day. Yeah, you too. Thanks.